Hi, I'm Pastor Luke. And today I thought we might draw a fictional bird. There are many fictional birds. Maybe you've heard of the Phoenix. Maybe you've heard of the Jayhawk. And if you have, then you'll know that sometimes people make up birds for whatever reason. Well, today we're gonna draw a birdhouse bird. I think the German pronunciation is Birdhausen, uh, but I'm not sure. It just means birdhouse bird. And so I hope you have a good time with this. One of the lessons I think we'll learn from doing this drawing is that it's okay to do things in phases. And when you're doing a drawing, you don't have to finish it the first time. Um, so I hope you'll uh, enjoy this. This is gonna be a video that comes in sections. So uh, we'll do the first part, which will just be the sketch and the outline, and then we'll color it in later. First thing we wanna do is draw the shape of the face of the birdhouse. Now let's angle these lines up here and down to draw the roof line. And then we want to draw the lines back towards the back so we can create a 3D effect. And then I like to put a little circle window at the top because I just think that looks cool. Okay, and how about some little windows on the side? And then I'm going to put a window here on the side. This is called a dormer, and it's got a little bit of um, a little bit of depth to it, as you can see. I'm just going to draw that in and sketch it in. You can do everything in pencil really light at this point because we're going to go over it. And I'm going to draw with colored pencils. And the nice thing about colored pencils is you can you can layer it. You can keep going over and over the drawing until you get it the way you want. Put a little trim on the sides here and on the top. Houses a lot of times have trim. And then I'll tell you what that's about in just a minute. We're gonna draw this roof line here. And I'll just tell you right now, this is gonna be a birdhouse that's kind of unique. It's kind of a made up bird, All right? So it's a bird house. Okay, feather these wings out. These are gonna be wings coming right off the roof of the birdhouse. And now I'm gonna draw the beak. You can see the beak of this bird. Yeah, it's kind of a birdhouse bird. Okay, and these are the nostrils. I don't know if you knew birds have nostrils so they can smell. And this is where the feet come out. So I'm drawing some feathers that go down around the legs, and then there's the feet, the toes, or the talons, or the claws, whatever you would want to call that. I think there's probably a proper name, but I don't know what it is. Maybe you can look that up later. All right, and just make this a little bit darker. We're not going to draw the whole thing today. We're just going to, we're going to draw parts of it, and, and then we'll come back and we'll color it in on a later video, if you want to, maybe. Maybe just practice drawing this and you'll like doing that, I don't know. All right, circles for the eyes. Yep. And this is the wood siding. Sometimes houses have siding. It's just boards that keep the rain and the water from coming into the house. Okay, I'm gonna erase a little bit of this eyeball here so we can draw that a little bit better. You don't have to be real specific when you're just sketching at first because you're gonna go over this and we'll clean it up a lot. Okay, these uh, windows here, they have like a little bit of roof over it. And then right here are some little feathers. I don't know if you've seen that, but sometimes feathers are really long and sometimes they're really short. So wing feathers are usually really long, and then some of the body feathers can be shorter. I don't know that much about birds, honestly, but I just know what they look like. And these are some of the longer feathers, and we're going to go over this again and again until we get it just the way we want. Okay, can you see that? There's the feathers there. And that's the, the little, some uh, birds have a little they've got some feathers that stick up on the top of their head, like blue jays and I'm trying to think of some other ones, just different kinds of jays, like a Stellar's jay. 
And this is just for ornament. Let's go over that circle again. We want to do it again so we can create a, a depth look to it. All right, these are some little, what they call fish scales. We're going to put those up near the roof. Sometimes people like to do that. Okay, let's just go in and, and darken up some of our lines so we can see where we're at and bring this thing to a close. And I hope you'll take some time to practice this. You can do it on white paper. I just have a regular sheet of white paper here that I'm trying to draw on. Of course, this is on my computer program, but when you're copying this, you can do it on a sheet of paper. Okay, look, I'm just gonna make that a little darker. And we'll go over it and over it and over it. See exactly uh, how to how to make colored pencil drawings look nice and uh, pop. Okay, so remember, birds only have two legs and they have two wings. Yeah, it's a birdhouse. These are the the window panes inside that little round window up there. As we're drawing this thing to a close, I wanted to encourage you that it's okay to set your drawings aside and to come back and work on them later. In fact, some of the greatest pieces of art in history are projects that people have worked on over a period of time. Michelangelo painted on the Sistine Chapel for four years on two different occasions. That's eight years total. This one isn't gonna take near that long. Hey, don't worry if it's not how you want it to be just yet, we're gonna keep working on it. Next time we're gonna add some color to it and we're gonna use color pencils to do that. So grab some colored pencils and check out our next video.